Okay, so we have a punch biopsy and you can see a superficial, pretty prominent um, papillary dermal edema. So it appears as kind of whitish open space right at the top of the dermis. And you can see it's kind of located a little bit eccentrically to one side over here. You don't really see as much. So um, they may have biopsied like the clinical edge of the lesion. Um, as you go into higher power, you'll notice and appreciate the mid dermal and even deep, almost subcutaneous um, perivascular, periadnexal inflammation. Um, you can see that mostly these are composed of lymphocytes. And going back up to the superficial aspect, you see this kind of reticular degeneration of the collagen fibers as the edema comes in and separates those collagen fibers. And pretty much um, posse cellular, I mean, there's, there's a good amount of lymphocytes in here. They're all pretty small, compact nuclei with little cytoplasm. They don't look like atypical lymphocytes at all. Um, the overlying epidermis looks mildly acanthotic and spongiotic, but this is a, a nice basket weave stratum corneum here. So what we have is a prominent papillary dermal edema in the setting of perivascular lymphocytic inflammation that's superficial and deep. And, um, that's pretty much putting it all together in the appropriate clinical context. This is consistent with polymorphous light eruption. Pernio can look very similar to this. So if it was, um, if you're getting clinically lesions that are looking more of like bulla or blisters, um, sometimes they can look a little targetoid all over the body, especially in photo distributed areas. Um, different morphologies can present, but usually if you've got this nice, almost bullous or juicy looking lesion um, with that subepidermal edema, it's polymorphous light eruption. If you saw a change like this on an acral surface, which this is not an acral surface, you're able to, um, it, but if you did see an acral surface, you would, you would definitely want to consider a pernio. Um, but if you weren't given any clinical information, you wouldn't choose pernio here because this is not an acral surface. You don't have a thick stratum corneum here um, and, a, and a relatively thicker epidermis as you would see in an acral surface. But in terms of just pattern recognition, when you see this edema and this distribution of lymphocytic inflammation, think polymorphous light eruption.